Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is Trent Smith at the National Weather Service in Missoula, Montana, uh, doing this live briefing. Uh, thank you for attending today. Um, I have everybody muted uh, right now um, for the, the presentation. If you have a question, please feel free you know, in the attendees box to, to raise your hand, and, and I'll unmute you at the call, um, so that way we can take some questions afterwards. So uh, let me just get started here. So today I'm going to go over a quick summary uh, here. Uh, the big thing, the biggest impact is probably the snow uh, that's going to be coming across, followed by the wind, uh, followed by uh, the cold for later this week. Uh, I just want to reiterate this is, uh, storm system is unprecedented. Uh, we haven't seen anything like this uh, this October time frame. So we're looking at some substantial snow. Uh, and then the cold behind it is going to be pretty unprecedented, uh, record-breaking. Uh, time of uh, snow. So well, let me just do a quick progression here of some models to kind of help uh, time when the precipitation is going to come in, uh, when should we see the heaviest precipitation. Um, so what I have here is kind of the six hour snowfall totals um, going forward starting at noon on Friday. Um, uh, I'm sorry that the the uh, the labels on the map aren't the best. Uh, I have Kalispell kind of up here in northwest Montana. Here's Missoula, uh, Butte, Salmon, uh, Lowell, uh, Lewiston, and uh, McCall. Uh, I wish I had a few more labels, especially for north central Idaho um, area and, and throughout the actually throughout the rest of the region, um, but uh, I'm working uh, with this. So we are looking at some uh, heavy snow predominantly coming into northwest Montana Friday afternoon time frame. Uh, Kelspell is expected to receive 1.9 inches of snow. Um, during that time frame and then also but probably the heaviest amounts are going to be in the higher terrain uh, of northwest Montana uh, Libby's about right here looking at about maybe an inch uh, on some grassy areas but that highway 2 corridor through could definitely get some higher amounts uh, lookout pass is looking upwards to about five inches just in this one six hour period uh, as it moves through so I think that this is when northwest Montana will probably get its heaviest snow uh, and actually the bulk of its snow is during the Friday afternoon time frame and then Friday evening that uh, snow really starts shifting southward more over west central Montana and, and uh, north central Idaho. Uh, Missoula is anticipated to get uh, maybe even upwards to four inches of snow uh, during that time frame um, so a big concern is that uh, evening rush hour and pretty much the whole I-90 corridor from Lookout Pass uh, down to Garrison Junction is probably going to be impacted during that time frame. Uh, that's when we're anticipating the heaviest uh, snow is during that uh, Friday 6 p.m. Uh, to midnight uh, uh, range. Um, even the southern uh, Mission Valley is going to get some uh, fairly hefty impacts from this in Sanders County and that Highway 200 corridor uh, across the region, the Silly Swan. So uh, all areas are actually going to be impacted pretty heavily um, with this uh, storm system. Uh, north central Idaho is going to be kind of uh, an intriguing uh, on timing of precipitation and how heavy it's going to be. Uh, they're going to be relatively warm, especially across the Camas Prairie and that Highway 93 corridor um, when the onset of the precipitation is going to happen. So I think the snow is going to be predominantly in the higher elevations with Lowell maybe getting an inch on the grassy surfaces. It's not until later that that cold air comes in to where the snow levels will fall uh, right down to the valley floor. And then moving into that midnight to 6 a.m. time frame, again, that still that main focus is that north central uh, Idaho uh, through west central Montana. And definitely getting kind of the biggest impact uh, with this uh, time uh, with this and I think that this is when the snow will actually make it all the way down to the valley bottom floors oral phenol will probably start seeing some snow uh, probably not too much in the way of the impacts but really that I-90 corridor uh, from Lookout Pass down to Butte uh, lost trail uh, that's where we're really going to see another hefty amount of snow Missoula is anticipated to get an additional three inches of snow on top of that uh, again this is predominantly for the grassy surfaces so it looks like a really good uh, system setting up and then that snow kind of finally moves out of the area uh, so uh, one area that I haven't really made mention yet is uh, Lemhi County um, 
Right now, the models aren't hitting uh, th that county the hardest, um, but seeing how the much moisture is coming in, I do actually think that they will get some hefty amounts out, the, out of this. I think it's going to be predominantly during the uh, late night, early morning hours, Friday night into Saturday morning. Uh, you can see some uh, hefty amounts with that, and I'll actually go through some storm total uh, amounts uh, for this whole area. So again, it looks like the snow is going to be moving into northwest Montana and parts of Clearwater County. Uh, Friday afternoon into the evening. Uh, the heaviest is going to be over that north central Idaho, west central Montana, Friday evening um, into Friday morning time frame, and then kind of finally pulling out of the area during the day on Saturday, leaving behind some really cold uh, temperatures. So now I actually want to jump in and look at some uh, uh, wind um, aspects uh, with this. So as I was saying that uh, Grangeville is probably going to see uh, and Riggins is going to see some nice warm temperatures. Uh, that's because uh, ahead of this front um, we are looking at some stronger southerly winds building up over the Camas Prairie in this portion of uh, uh, Idaho County. Uh, probably could see some uh, wind gusts up to 30 maybe even 40 miles per hour in some locations out onto the Camas Prairie but definitely in the higher terrain. But temperatures are definitely going to be warming uh, during this time frame. And then during the Friday evening is when that Arctic air will start making its way into northwest Montana. Uh, so once that uh, nice or that strong northeasterly winds come in, it'll be pulling in some drier air. So it's really going to be cutting off uh, the precipitation up there. It'll probably continue to precipitate a little bit after the cold air first moves in, but it definitely will be probably on the decrease uh, during that time frame. So that strong uh, northerly winds will just steadily push through the northern Rockies. Um, there is an area of concern of some stronger winds around the southern portion of Flathead Lake into the Hot Springs area. Uh, that could cause additional blowing snow, especially out on the, the kind of the plains area in that region. But also a concern will be uh, spray uh, blowing up onto some docks, especially on the uh, southwest uh, quadrant of the lake. Uh, it could be a concern because just how cold this air I is going to be. Uh, behind it. So uh, one, one thing to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, also that uh, strong winds are going to be coming through the Bad Rock uh, region. And then that the winds will just steadily be uh, moving right on down through uh, the northern Rockies um, uh, throughout the, the evening and actually throughout uh, Saturday time frame. Um, to kind of go into more high resolution or not uh, lower resolution models to kind of indicate that that wind will just steadily move in and then by Saturday afternoon, uh, the strong winds are really going to be kind of more down in the Lemhi County. Uh, all of the northern Rockies will probably be seeing these northeasterly winds, but they will be steadily gradually, uh, they will be steadily decreasing uh, throughout the, the day on Saturday. Uh, so uh, we're going to get all this snow. Now we're going to get all this wind. So Again, we have multiple uh, winter, well, we actually have winter storm watches out. Those will be upgraded to winter storm warnings. Um, but some areas of concern are really that Bad Rock Canyon, uh, that uh, Hot Springs area, uh, East uh, Missoula Corridor through Hellgate, and any other uh, narrow canyons that get these really strong northeasterly winds. Uh, they could encounter uh, blizzard-like conditions for a period of time. So we're uh, taking a close look on that. Uh, another area of concern is just the how much snow is coming in kind of the, that mid-October, mid to late October time frame. There are still plenty of trees out there with leaves that are well attached. So any hefty snow on that could actually cause some uh, um, tree branches to break, causing power lines to fall down. Um, and then just uh, a significant amount of, of impacts uh, with this system. Um, to go back to the presentation, so let me take a look here at some snow amounts across the area. So right here is what we have forecasted across uh, the northern Rockies. Uh, again, the heaviest hit area is going to be, again, that I-90 Highway 200 corridor uh, right across west central Montana. And then the higher peaks and the higher terrain uh, across the 
north central Idaho. It's going to take a little bit of time for that cold air to get down into the uh, Orofino Grangeville area and I think the precipitation will be moving off. So uh, this is where we have the highest confidence of the biggest impacts. Um, right now we do actually have some pretty hefty amounts for extreme northwest Montana. Um, there's not as much confidence with these hefty amounts. Uh, if that moisture moves a little bit farther to the south, uh, northwest Montana won't see as much and again with the timing of that to dry cold air coming in could really shut off the snow but there's been some uncertainty in exactly where that heaviest precipitation is going to set up so right now we are have some hefty amounts up there but uh, again not a lot of confidence uh, in those amounts right now but again that high confidence is right here in that highway 200 corridor through southwest montana and the mountain peaks um, if this sets up just uh, perfectly um, with that moisture feeding right into the clear water bitterroot range uh, the mountains could actually see feet of snow when it's all said and done by Saturday afternoon just with how strong this uh, storm system is and, and again Lemhi County um, with that moisture moving a little bit farther north than what we were seeing just even a couple of days ago not seeing as much snow uh, but the Williams Creek Summit, uh, Lost Trail area, uh, and the higher roads that go through there are definitely going to have some high impacts. The valleys, uh, maybe not so much, just due to the timing of the cold air reaching down in there. But even with Ledor getting just uh, two inches of snow, uh, with those strong northeasterly winds coming in by Saturday, you probably could see some blowing and drifting snow across the the interstate, especially around Gil or across the highway, especially around uh, Gilmore Summits. So some really big impacts going on. So this is what we're actually forecasting right now for snowfalls. So I just wanted to go into kind of the range of snow that we could see. If this storm system really falls apart and there's not as much dynamics associated with it, uh, on the left-hand side is uh, the minimum amount of snow uh, that's anticipated for the Northern Rockies uh, with this system. And Missoula is still anticipated to get two inches, but like I said, uh, Northwest Montana are really not seeing a whole lot of precipitation with this. Uh, but again, still a pretty high impact event for, uh, again, North Central Idaho and West Central Montana. But if that moisture comes in, and the timing of the cold air is just right and we get a good dendritic uh, snowfall for a long period of times this is probably the highest amount of snow that we could see for a given area uh, this is also taking into account that that moisture moves a little bit farther north and brings a heftier amounts to northwest montana um, but again th that impact area is kind of right through the middle of our forecast area so again very high confidence uh, for for uh, north central idaho to west central montana and lesser confidence in snow amounts for extreme northwest montana southwest montana and down into uh, uh, Lemhi County. Uh, following behind uh, this is just some really cold temperatures. Um, some of the coldest, well, uh, actually record-breaking cold temperatures um, are anticipated for Sunday morning and then again Monday morning. Uh, Sunday morning, Missoula's anticipating a low around 2, Kalispell 4, Pole Bridge minus 5. Again, these could actually go a little bit colder. It's all dependent on how much cloud cover uh, we have uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. So again, a very significant uh, cold air mass is coming into play. Even down into Orofino and the Grangeville area, these are record-breaking cold temperatures. Um, come uh, this weekend so uh, every place is going to be extremely cold and I mean these temperatures would even break records come the first and second week of November so th that's just how precedently how cold this system is so uh, on that note uh, I'll open it up for uh, questions here real shortly but if you want a more detailed information about uh, your area or your area of concern please feel free to give us a call um, here at the office uh, follow us on uh, our Facebook uh, Twitter YouTube I will be posting this uh, briefing on this uh, uh, on our YouTube channel or even send us a message